Welcome back friends, welcome back to the homestead and we're back in the kitchen and in today's video I am introducing you to the wonders of Latvian beer. Now um, I can't possibly cover all the beer and all the styles in one video so I'm going to give you, in, in this video we'll just look at the kind of an introduction and I'll take you through the kind of mainstays of um, the styles in Latvian beer and then we'll um, crack a few of these bottles open and, and show you. Um, I've got five beers here. I've tried to cover different breweries in each beer and there are kind of five core uh, styles of beer. Um, there are now actually many other variants, um, but uh, you know, looking sort of historically, these are the kind of five core beers that Latvia has to offer. I'll talk through each one and compare them to perhaps uh, what you might find in the UK or elsewhere in the world. Um, Myself, I'm really passionate about beer. I'm very excited about this video. Um, when I was in the UK, I used to brew my own beer. I used to attend beer festivals. And uh, I've not had the opportunity to do that here um, yet, but I'm looking forward to getting back to brewing and uh, tasting more styles of beer, which I will uh, follow up with other videos. I've got other videos planned already. So this is very much a part one introduction to beer. So here we've got the five styles of beer and they are kind of in order of strength although um, there are that kind of goes I guess a bit with the styles but um, as I say there are variants as well so we've got um, Senshu, um, Pilsner, Geishais, Tumshais and um, Baltic Porter. Now pretty much everything in Latvia, with the exception of the porter, goes Geishais, Tumshais, which is light and dark. Um, so Geishais is lark, Tumshais is dark. Um, now, Senshu beer. Um, Senshu beer is kind of what you might call in the UK a session beer. Um, you might think of it as a Czech lager kind of strength. You're looking at about 4%, something like that. They vary. Um, you won't really get much under 4% in Latvia, unless it's alcohol free. Um, but Senshus tend to be around, you know, 3.9 to about 4.5%. Um, so let's open this. Um, I've got this rather uh, natty bottle opener, which um, I got from uh, this brewery here, which I'll talk a bit more when we get to the Baltic Porter. Um, so she goes. Give it a bit more. So this is Balks's uh, brewery, one of the kind of um, not really a macro brewery, but uh, middle of the road kind of brewery. Lots of microbreweries popping up all over the place in Latvia now. So um, as you can see, quite a light, you know, that would still be classed as a Geishais. It's, it's what I would expect from, um, you know, kind of run-of-the-mill lager, really. Yeah, um, not too heavy on the hops. So next, um, we've got this one. This is a Pilsner. Maybe something like a German Helles, that kind of style of beer. Um, a little bit stronger. You're looking at 4.5 to 5% alcohol. Again, you know, a lot you expect from Pilsner. Um, it's light in colour. Still be classed as a guy shies. Let's put the cap. This is from the um, Ilksamia. I hope I pronounced that right. It's got several a couple of letters in it which are really difficult to pronounce in Latvian for our non-native speakers like myself. But Ilgidsinir is Siema. Yeah, I'm sure they're laughing at the way I'm pronouncing it, but anyway. Um, If you sort of compare the two, you can see slightly more amber kind of colour. Yeah, I think you can see it. A 
you know, more of a body kind of in, in, in that um, similar kind of hop level. Little bit, tiny bit sweeter. Um, certainly you can taste a slightly al uh, higher alcoholic content. So then we've got what we, uh, a guy shies, um, Aulus. Aulus is Latvian for beer. I should have said that at the start, shouldn't I? Um, so, you know, guy shows Aulus, you'll see just all, all over the shelves, everywhere. Um, so, this is um, the, from the Star, Starburags um, range of beers from Larch Places uh, Brewery. Now, Larch Places are kind of one of the big players in Latvia. Um, there are, um, th there's three, I think, Aldice, Larch Placia, and Cezu are kind of the big three macro breweries um, in Latvia. And uh, they've done this range of um, Starburgs, um, St Starburgs beers. Um, and they've got some interesting um, <clears throat> beers in that range. I'd like to cover that in a separate video, actually. But this is their kind of standard um, Guy Shai's Aulus. This one is 5.2%. Uh, Much more crisp um, flavor to it, more smell. Yeah, it's a little bit more hoppy. Um, yeah, I like that. Again, you know, these are these are all, th you know, three on the, like, well, obviously they're pale, paler uh, variants. Summery kind of lagers when, you, you know, you need to quench that thirst in summer. He's the kind of uh, go-to. So up um, next, we've, we move on to the darker uh, beers. Now, this is the Tezu um, Bohemian. Um, this happens to be um, one of my favorite beers, actually. Now, it, it is Macro Brewery. Um, Tezu have been doing a lot of work recently to rebrand, um, and they've got this range of premium beers. Um, as dark lagers go, so this is kind of, um, yeah, we don't really go much for dark lagers in the UK, you know, a Dunkel type level in German beers. Um, but this is the Latvian, uh, one of the Latvian um, Tumscheis, so Dunkel beers. Really, really nice beer, this one. Again, Taser beers are their premium range I'd like to feature in a different video. So let's crack that open. I mean, in terms of prices, um, just to, I'm sure you're interested, you know, you can buy these bottles um, for, you know, around about a euro. This, if it's on offer, this is 95 cents. Um, this is one, I think, 117. Um, but they're all, you know, 120. Um, this will be under a euro, probably or around a euro um, for a bottle, which is you know, quite reasonable. In the UK, you're looking at what, sort of three, four quid for a bottle of beer on its own. You, you can get them cheaper if you buy three or four in a collection, I suppose. But that's what you kind of expect to pay for um, a bottle of beer in Latvia. Let's pour this out. So instantly you can see um, a lot darker, as you expect from Dunkel. More of that, you know, those, you know, roasted darker grains, smells that you would expect from a Dunkel. And likewise, nice and smooth. You know, if you, um, I presume this is available on draft in, in places like Riga, but well worth, um, and it retains a nice head on that as well. So um, last of all, we've got the Baltic Porter. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Baltic Porters, but kind of ironically, they're not really, they're more of an export type beer. I'm sure people are gonna shout and scream and say that's not true. Maybe in Riga, they're more popular. But um, when I went to buy these beers from um, our town, nearest town, uh, Ruyena, um, this was the only Baltic Porter on the shelf. So not particularly easy to get hold of around here. Not that popular. Now, this is from uh, Valmira's uh, Moija. Now, um, Valmira is our nearest city. It's about 35, 40 kilometers from here. And uh, Valmira's Moija is um, on the outskirts of the city, on our side. And uh, there is a, a, a Moija there, which is uh, in British, in English, that's a mansion. 
and it's a really old, uh, nice country estate mansion with a park next to it. And at Varamaria's Moisture, I've got a very nice uh, small brewery there. Um, very nice branding, nice range of beers. Absolutely, definitely need to do a video on their range of beers. And they've got some specials that sometimes you can get hold of. I've been down there a couple of times. Um, in fact, this, like I said, this um, nice kind of uh, rustic bottle opener is was purchased from their shop and they do uh, snacks and stuff related to from the brewery um, and you can get you know spent grains biscuits and stuff like that got an eatery there um, nice sort of visitor center and also the, the owner puts on events cultural events in the park next to it and you have like markets there and you can buy you know locally produced goods and everything all very nice um, so uh, if you're watching Varamir's Moisture, then um, reach out to me because I'd love to obviously come down um, when it's appropriate to do so um, and film with you guys and talk to you guys about beer. But let's um, pop open this Baltic Porter and have a quick look at that and a taste. Um, their beers are more premium, you expect to pay a higher price. I think this was about 160. Um, for this 330 milliliter. Um, they do some really nice uh, gift packs as well, um, which I've purchased and taken back to my friends in the UK. They do like a light beer and a dark beer and a glass, nice glass in a pack. And all my mates back in, um, in Cranmer have got those. So, um, you know, uh, what you'd expect from a Baltic Porter really very smooth, creamy um, head, really dark beer. You, you get those real dark roasted um, malted grains, chocolatey. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. Really fantastic beer for winter time. I love dark beers and uh, porters uh, during the winter time. Very rich. Yeah, got those really important notes that you'd expect from a, from a porter. Very nice beer. So that is a very quick um, look into Latvian beers. Um, there are now, um, these are all clear beers, but um, they've now got these beers variants um, called um, Ziva and Nefiltris, which means not filtered or alive. I think we would call that bottle conditioned in the UK um, or uh, maybe in German would be Mitheffer. Um, with yeast inside type beers. Uh, there's also kind of like a stip rise, which is a strong beer, um, you know, kind of tenant super strength kind of beer. I don't, I tend, you know, there's seven or eight percent. It's just a, it's just like one of these, but with more alcohol in it. It doesn't really add anything to um, the flavor or the body of the beer. So I kind of tend to stay away from those. Um, good for the, the, the brotherhood of bottles. Um, as I call them. So, um, yeah, like I say, quick introduction to Latvian beers. I know I've not covered everything, impossible to cover it all in one video, but that's kind of, your, you know, your base, your core beers are here in Latvia. And um, in future videos, I will expand the variations and look at some other breweries and other beers and um, go from there. But if you've got any questions, um, then put these in the comments below, any comments as well, any criticisms, I, I welcome them all. Likes are always welcomed. Any ideas for videos, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to hear more about, again, put them in the comments below and I'll sort that out. Um, if you're, uh, I bought all these beers myself and I chose them all myself, um, but if you're a brewery in Latvia and you'd like me to come and film and talk about beer and uh, taste some of your beers, then reach out to me and I'll be really um, happy to do that. Okay, um, that's it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Or Prieka in that way.